Hello everyone, I'm Ravindra. Today, we're going to focus on some essential and challenging interview questions related to Power Apps, specifically Canvas Apps. Whether you're gearing up for a senior level interview or just aiming to deepen your understanding, these questions will cover key concepts, best practices, and functionalities of Canvas Apps in the Power Platform. Let's dive in and get you prepared for your next big opportunity. Explain the concept of delegation in Power Apps. How does it impact the performance and scalability of Canvas apps? Answer. Delegation in Power Apps refers to the process of offloading data processing tasks from the local device running a Canvas app to a data source, such as SharePoint, SQL Server, or Common Data Service. This is crucial for handling large data sets effectively, as it allows the data source to perform operations like filtering, sorting, and aggregation instead of processing all data on the client side. Impact on performance. 1. Efficiency. By delegating operations, only the necessary subset of data is retrieved, significantly reducing the amount of data transferred over the network. This enhances the app's responsiveness and reduces loading times. 2. Reduced resource usage. Delegation minimizes the use of local device resources, CPU, and memory, as the heavy lifting is done by the data source's server, which is typically more powerful and optimized for such tasks. Impact on scalability. 1. Handling large datasets. Without delegation, power apps would be limited by the device's capacity to handle data, usually up to 2,000 records. Delegation allows for working with datasets that contain tens of thousands of records or more, making the app scalable for enterprise-level usage. 2. Performance consistency. As the dataset grows, apps using delegation maintain consistent performance since operations are executed by the data source. Non-delegable operations, on the other hand, lead to slower performance as the amount of data increases. Best Practices Delegation Warnings Pay attention to delegation warnings in Power Apps. These indicate where operations cannot be delegated and might impact performance. Optimized formulas use functions and operations that support delegation. For instance, filter and search can be delegated if properly configured with delegable functions. Data source limits. Understand the limitations and capabilities of your data source to optimize delegation effectively. Describe how you would implement offline capabilities in a Canvas app. What are the challenges and best practices? Answer. Implement offline capabilities using collections to store data locally, leveraging the save data and load data functions. Challenges include data synchronization, conflict resolution, and ensuring data integrity. How can you handle error management and debugging in Canvas apps? Provide examples of common issues and their solutions. Answer. Use the on-error property to capture and handle errors, utilize variables to store error messages, and employ diagnostic tools like App Checker and the Monitor tool. Common issues include connectivity problems and data validation errors. Discuss the use of collections in Canvas apps. How do you create, manipulate, and use collections effectively? Answer. Collections are created using the collect function, manipulated with functions like clear collect, add columns, and remove. They are used for temporary storage of data, offline scenarios, and improving performance by reducing repeated data calls. Explain the difference between the patch, collect, and for all functions. When would you use each of them? Answer. Patch is used to create or update a record in a data source. Collect is used to add records to a collection. For all is used to perform actions on each item in a table. Use patch for single records, collect for bulk data, and for all for iterative operations. What are the security best practices for managing data access and permissions in Canvas apps? Answer. Follow least privilege principles, use role-based access control, manage permissions through the data source, use environment variables for sensitive data, and enable multi-factor authentication. How do you implement role-based access control in a Canvas app? Provide a detailed example. Answer. Implement role-based access control by checking user roles at App Start, storing roles in a collection, and conditionally displaying or enabling controls based on the user's role. Example. Use the user function to get the current user's email and check against the SharePoint list of roles. How do you handle version control and deployment of Canvas apps in a large enterprise environment? Answer. Use solutions and environments in Power Platform, maintain app versions, use source control systems like Git, 
and follow deployment pipelines with ALM, Application Lifecycle Management, tools. Explain the concept of component libraries in Power Apps. How can they be used to improve app development efficiency and maintainability? Answer. Component libraries allow you to create reusable components that can be shared across apps. This improves development efficiency by promoting reuse, ensures consistency, and simplifies maintenance by centralizing updates. What are the best practices for building and maintaining a Canvas app? And its answer. Answer. Best practices include plan and design. Start with a clear understanding of user requirements and design a user-friendly interface. Naming conventions. Use consistent and meaningful naming conventions for controls, screens, and variables. Modular design. Break down the app into smaller, reusable components and functions. Performance optimization. Use delegation, minimize the number of controls, optimize data calls, and load data on demand. Data management. Ensure efficient data management with proper use of collections, clear old data from collections, and handle large data sets with pagination. Security. Follow least privilege principles, implement role-based access control, and secure data connections. Testing and debugging. Regularly test the app, use the app checker, and employ the monitor tool for debugging. Documentation. Maintain thorough documentation for the app's functionality, design decisions, and any custom code. Version control. Use version control systems to manage app versions and changes, especially in collaborative environments. User training and support. Provide user training, create help documentation, and set up support channels for feedback and issue resolution. Continuous improvement. Regularly gather user feedback and iterate on the app to improve performance, functionality, and user experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for improvement or topics you'd like me to cover in the future, please leave a comment below. I've put a lot of hard work into creating this video, and I hope it has been valuable to you. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.